Hi everyone and welcome to the last part in our jigsaw puzzle game series. In this last part here we're going to add the ability to have a button where you can click on it and change the picture that you want to have as the puzzle during the game. So let's get started with that. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to build a system up where I have a little drop box button here where I can click on and choose the image for the next puzzle when I hit reset puzzle. So let's go and into our thing here and I'm going to hide the U in for now because it's quite annoying and let's expand open my canvas panel here I'm going to add another button to this so the button we're going to have here is going to be a custom built button that's going to have a image and text into it so drag that into the canvas panel and we're going to put that again exactly the same as the other button really so in here click on that button anchor it to the bottom right and we're going to change its position here to 0, 0, alignment 0 0.5, 0 0.5, the size we're going to make 300 in the X and Y in the 80, uh, sorry X and Y alignment should be 1 and 1, my bad, and we're going to change position X here to be minus uh, 200, no minus 350, and Y is going to be minus 50, so, so it appears next to the reset button. Uh, we we'll probably get a little bit more space in the X, so we'll do minus 400 there. There we go, that's nicer. So in there, we're going to have a horizontal box. And the horizontal box is going to have an image and a text into it. So image, which is going to be previewing the next puzzle. And the text is going to be just the instruction to change the text. There you have it. So let me just zoom in on that so you can see it clearer. So let's go into there and we're going to change the name of the button here to change image button. And we're going to change its uh, background color here to zero in the alpha. We're going to go to the holes of the box and we're going to tell it to fill the whole space of the, of the button. The image alone is going to be of a size 32 by 32. Uh, actually, we'll just center the align that one like so and change the size of this to 64 by 64. Maybe a bit less than that. Let's do 50 by 50. There we go. And the text here, we're going to center align in the vertical like so. And we're going to actually, let's align it to the, uh, no, we'll align the whole horizontal box, sorry. We'll align that to the center. There you go, that's better. So I want to add a little padding here on this image here. So let's go on the image and let's add a bit of padding on the left and right of say 20 and 20. And the text block here, we're going to change the text here to change image. Okay, so the idea is you can click on this button and this image here will change to preview what the next uh, next one is. So the image need to be a variable. So make it make sure it's ticked is variable. And this will be the preview image. Hit compile and save. Now by default, the preview image is going to be exactly the same as the jigsaw image. So on your construct, over here, we're going to drag our preview image out. Choose get. I'm going to set material uh, brush from uh, texture. And the texture is going to be jigsaw image. Compile, save, and hit play. And you see the image there, click on change image. And the idea is that when I click on that, it will come up with a little window where I can see other images I can choose from. So let's make that little window. Use interface, widget blueprint, and this will be jigsaw selection. Now in jigsaw selection, we're gonna have uh, a graph and in the graph, we're going to add a variable for image choices. And this is going to be a texture 2D array. Make that uh, an array, like so. Hit compile, and then go into the default values and add all the images that you want. So puzzle, God of War, 
puzzle, halo, and finally, puzzle, banjo. So there's my three puzzle choices. I'm then going to hit compile and go out of here, and we're going to make up the individual buttons that are going to fill up our selection box. So we're going to create a new interface widget, and we go jigsaw selection option. And this one's quite simple. We're going to go in here and we're just going to change it from a camera panel just to an image. And that image here will be the preview image. Hit compile. Then go to the graph and add a new variable here. And this will be the puzzle image variable. And this is going to be the actual texture for the puzzle that piece that's going to be representative here. So change that to a texture 2D. If I could type. There we go. And on the pre-construct here, drag your preview image out. And we're going to go set texture from brush from texture. And drag out your puzzle image into it. Now the puzzle image needs to be editable and exposed on spawn. Hit compile and save that. Go to the design view and you want to right click on preview image and wrap with a button. And we're going to change this fill screen here. We're going to change it to desired. So here's our button. And I want to change the size of this button. So the preview image here I'm going to change to 64 by, actually we'll do 128 by 128. And give it a padding of say 10. Okay, so there is our button there. Hit compile and save that. Um, the preview image here, I'm going to align it to the left hand side uh, in the center. So it looks, at the moment, nothing's changed, but it will look different when we add it to our list in a moment. This button here, we're going to name here to be option button. And what we're going to do is go to our on clicked event for this. And we're going to create an event dispatcher. This event dispatcher is going to report back what was chosen. So I'm going to call it choice made. And going to have one input. And that's going to be the texture image that we have here. So this will be a texture 2D. And this will be, we call it choice. And we're going to call that event dispatcher on the on clicked event. The new parameter here, if I hit compile, that's going to give us an issue. Just refresh that. You go to choice here, it's going to be our preview image. Drag that out. Oh, not preview image, our puzzle image. There we go. So we're now sending back what image was selected by the player. Hit compile and save that. Uh, actually, last thing I'm going to do here is going to change the background color because I don't like the button color. I'm going to change that to zero there. Hit compile and save. Now, let's go back to our jigsaw selection. Now, our jigsaw selection on the design view. Uh, we're going to leave it as canvas panel, but I'm going to put in a blur. And blur, blur is going to cover the whole entire canvas panel. So let's change that to fill and change the offsets to 0, 0, and all the zeros across. Scroll down and you're going to change the blur strength here to like 10. Maybe like 5 actually. Yeah, there we go. Inside our background blur, we're going to bring in our vertical box. And our vertical box actually we want to wrap with our border. And our border, we want to change the brush color of this to be black. Now obviously we don't want it to cover the whole entire screen because that's ridiculous. So let's resize this with a size box. So wrap that with a size box. And we're going to do a width and height override. And the width and height override for the size box is going to be uh, a width of let's say 600 and a height of, mm, I don't know, uh, let's do one, uh, no, not 1000, let's do that as 800. Hit compile and leave it like that. So at the moment, our size box isn't changing the size of our border. That's because our size box is told to fill the whole entire screen. So we're going to change that to center and center, and it will now center it into the whole entire thing, rather than stretching it across the whole width. 
Okay, so there's our size box with our content in. Now on the vertical box, we're going to put in a little instruction at the top with some text. And we'll call this one choose a uh, choose uh, the a puzzle. And we'll send to align that. There we go. And let's give it a bit of padding as well of like, I don't know, 10. And below that in the vertical box, we're going to have a scroll box. So then you can have as many as you want and it will still work just fine. So in that scroll box, we're going to change that to fill the available space and hit compile and save. We're then going to go to the graph view. Now in the graph view, we're going to go into the pre-construct. We're going to take our image choices, get, and then do a for each loop. On the for each loop, we're going to drag out and create widget and you're going to choose your jigsaw selection option. And here it will ask you for a puzzle image, which is just the array element from our arrays for each loop. So we're cycling through each of our choices and building up an option for that choice. We now need to add that option to our scroll box. So let's select our scroll box, make this a uh, named, so do this option scroll box and tick is variable and then in the graph we can drag that out and add child as normal the content of which will be just this here hit compile and then save go to the designer view and you should see our options now all appearing here brilliant hit save and then go back to the graph now for each one of those, remember we've got that event dispatcher. So on the return value from the create here, you know, drag out and do bind event to choice made. Now the choice made, we need to also bind to another event, which is going to be bound to the jigsaw widget. I know, very complicated, but bear with me. On the event dispatcher, make another one here called choice made. And another one with an input with the texture 2D. You're basically passing the texture 2D back up the chain, basically. That's what you're doing here. Chosen puzzle. Hit compile. So bind event to choice made at the end here, we're going to go down here and do a custom event. And this event is going to call that event dispatcher. So um, option selected, we'll call this one. If I could spell it nicely, it would be good. There we go. And we're going to drag our choice made event dispatcher and do call. And plug in your choice into that event dispatcher. Hit compile and now save. So now we've got these three buttons here in a scroll box. And when we click on them, we'll call this choice made. Next, we need to go back to our jigsaw widget. In our jigsaw widget, when we click on the button for the change image, we want to create the on clicked event first, help. And on the clicked event, we're going to create that widget to the selection box. Create widget and choose the selection box. We're then going to take the return value and add it to viewport. And also from that return value, bind event to choice made. And the new event we're going to drag out from and do a custom event. And the custom event we're going to call um, change image. And the image we're going to change here is going to be the jigsaw image. So drag that out, choose set, plug that into there, and plug in your chosen puzzle. Hit compile, and then save. So what should happen is that when you click the reset button, it should now read a different value based on the choice you made. So let's see if this works straight away. So I've got images here, blah, 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 I'm playing, but I feel like I want to change it up. Hit on change image. And I can choose a new one. So I'm gonna choose Banjo Kazooie. Ah, I need to take it to remove from parent. That's what I forgot to do. So on the jigsaw selection uh, here, once we've done that call, we want to remove this from parent. So remove from parent. 
now let's test that out so building this out hit change image choose banjo and i need to update this as well but when i hit reset puzzle it's now using banjo so let's just fix the last little bug which is changing this preview image based on what i've chosen here so let's go into that that's on the jigsaw widget and on the jigsaw widget when i say change image i want to change also the preview image so preview image get and we do set uh, brush from texture and then plug in your image into it and finally hit compile and save and there you are done now we can go in here we can play our game as we want and uh, oh crap I'm doing rubbish let's do the face that's easy I hit change image choose god of war hit reset puzzle and now you've got God of War. Change it to Banjo, reset puzzle, and there you got Banjo. And if I beat the game, so if I beat this, uh, let's see if I can do this. Uh, that one. Doing all right so far. And then it come up, you win. Hooray! Then hit reset puzzle or change image again. Whichever you want. But there you go. That's it gone. So thank you very much for watching this series. Hopefully you enjoyed it and saw some things and you learned some things. If you are a gold patron, you have access to all these project files straight away. So by all means, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Lally. Become a gold patron. You can download these project files and many, many more project files as well as access to all my videos before anyone else. If you've liked this series, please hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed with the little notification bell ticked on as well. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.